What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Galliman20, and today we are here in my uh, tutorial series again. You guys requested it, and I am going to follow through with it. So today, you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on how to live stream on PC. So the thing I'm going to show you is how to use Exploit Gamecaster, which is what I use for my recording and gameplay. Uh, as of now, I used to use Broadcaster, which I am using to make this video because that's the only feature where it allows you to uh, have your desktop being shown. Um, I used to use that for more, a lot of my tutorials, um, which you guys see, but Gamecaster is just basically for games, and it's very easy to use, and uh, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to register. If you have not registered at all, you want to register now. Then you want to do is just put in your credentials and click log in. You can do to remember me and automatically log in if you really want to, which is usually what I prefer, but it's up to you on what you want to do. Next thing what you're going to do is you're going to click continue and then you're going to be brought up with this page after it gets up. Now it says there's an update, but I haven't updated it yet. Um, you're going to have five tabs, start, accounts, settings, screenshots, and recordings. Um, your screenshots and recordings will be uh, blank. Mine has recordings in there, um, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the next thing you're going to do is just go head over to your settings. Now your settings, I don't know what it is in the beginning, but this is what mine is. It's a custom, which is 720p HD X264 X 30 frames per second. And it's automatic recording settings, screenshots are JPEG, and everything right here are checked. So basically if you just want to follow through with what I have on here, definitely go ahead and do that. Now here it says allow audio in the BRB mode. Now if you are in a BRB mode, um, let's just say you go into a game and then you have to exit out because um, you want to go to a different thing or you want to get to the internet real quick as you're in the middle of a live stream you can either keep the audio and keep talking to your audience as you're in the BRB mode or you can just uh, keep that on to where uh, they can hear you. Um, your microphone will be at uh, none or default whatever it is you may have a microphone that you can use you can put that in there if you have a camera you can put a camera in there but it's up to you what you want to do and the next thing we're going to go is going to go to our accounts, which everything is going to be set up as. So here it says YouTube Live for Galliman20. I'm going to remove that authorization real quick. Um, and I'm going to show you guys step by step on what you're supposed to do. Because you can choose from Twitch, Hitbox, YouTube Live, Ustream, Daily Motion. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. And then a custom RTMP. I don't know what that is either. But we're going to click on YouTube Live because that's where I live stream at. And then what we're going to do is be brought up here, uh, we're going to type in our credentials. Uh, do, 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 do. Enter. Okay, I spelled that wrong. There we go. And then click the password, click on our accounts. And then we're just going to brought up here with exploit we'd like to do blah blah blah. You click allow and then your account is authorized then you're going to authorize to upload videos to YouTube you're going to do the same exact thing and authorizing your account click enter type in the passwords and should be good click on your account you should already ha you should have one account if you have more then click the right account click allow good to go you can also do it your social media networks um, I have one already authorized but I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because it's the same exact thing as authorizing the YouTube live and YouTube is in general so the next thing um, after you authorize everything that you want to do you can do Facebook as well um, it's not recommended but it's up to you what you want to do and now we're going to click on start click on start you're going to minimize uh, exploit gamecaster then what you're going to do is bring up any game once you uh, make sure you have exploit gamecaster already activated so you want to click double click on it have it come up and then launch your game don't launch your game and then activate exploit gamecaster because then some things could uh, go wrong with it so I would recommend starting it up first 
then authorizing or launching the game and then bringing it up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into GTA 5. Now the gameplay I'm going to be showing you guys, it's it's all live, this is unedited, but uh, this new vehicle that has just been released on lcpdfr.com, it's a awesome looking tow truck. Um, the skin, of course, is not uh, USA, but some people have made skins for it. Um, I haven't uh, added it to the vehicle yet, but um, this is what it looks like real quick. So here's the vehicle, an awesome looking yellow lights. I mean, job well done on this guy. He did a great job with this. Um, so we're just going to go around the vehicle to show you guys real quick of what it looks like. I got into a little uh, fight with a pedestrian. Um, he got knocked out, so he definitely lost. Um, there's an NYPD vehicle that I used in the last live stream that I did. But that's besides the point. This is for live streaming. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, come up here. I'm going to get this out of the way real quick so I can show you everything. But for Xplit Gamecaster, it shows your FPS. It also shows you a watermark for Xplit Gamecaster. Now, of course, you don't have to have it um, on on uh, on your screen if you don't want to. But I usually recommend it. Um, so if we go here, it's actually under yeah, add image, add an image to your stream or recording. It's going to be ticked off. Um, so you won't be able to see in the beginning, but if you do want to have the watermark so people know what you're using, it's definitely recommended to uh, put it on there. I usually put it in the bottom right hand corner for my live streams, that way it doesn't get in the way of anything that I'm actually doing. Because most things happen on the left hand side, which is right here, the mini map. I, w I don't want to cover the mini map. Um, next thing, if you do have, if you do purchase Xplit Gamecaster, um, it's like a monthly rate that you pay I think. Um, I don't do that, but you could always uh, use your mouse to draw on your gameplay, so that would be pretty cool. Also, you can add, view, and share your screenshots to this game session. Um, now, when you are live, you can't do it right now, but once you're live, you can post your live stream URL to Twitter and Facebook, which is usually what I do when I start my live streams up. That way it gives you guys a notification. Um, and then you have the YouTube uh, live chat. So the YouTube live chat has a, a couple functions that you can do. You can extend it to wherever you want it. Uh, usually I prefer about right there um, so I can see everybody's messages coming through and that way it doesn't uh, do anything. Now you guys are probably thinking, now Galliman doesn't that get in the way of your live streaming? Well sometimes yes. Sometimes it does get in my way um, with certain things but I can deal with it. Um, the one thing I like to do in my live streams is continuously look at the chat and see what you guys are saying because I like to interact with the chat, see what you guys uh, want and what your perspective is on things that I'm playing. Um, so yesterday's live stream was City Skylines. Um, that was a fantastic live stream. A lot of people came to join and you guys were saying how speedy I was with getting to you guys in the chat and I'm like well this is what I'm using and it's definitely a good thing to do if you want to interact with your chat now for you guys you guys can't see it on the screen when uh, when I'm doing this because you have to have the paid version of XSplit Gamecaster to actually show it to your audience of what you're doing so I'm the only one who's able to see it you guys aren't um, so if I were to click on in stream slash recording it would bring up this where it says buy an XSplit license today so of course we're not licensed for to do that so we can't actually do it um, for here um, but the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to show you um, different things that you can do now I want to get that out of the way there we go um, so for your viewers I have you guys at a green color so when your name pops up it's gonna be a green color and then the messages are like an orangish color so it, it kinda blends in with the game not much but usually that green color gives me an indication that you guys are uh, chatting and it kinda just throws my eyes over there seeing that you guys are uh, chatting down below also you can change the opacity of what you want um, usually I would keep the opacity at zero that way it, um, the transparency is well instead of having it like this where you can't see anything on the right side of your screen 
Um, also, you can change the text size to small, medium, or large. Um, next thing, really, is the sound quality. So, right now, you see the microphone is muted. And that's because if I were to talk, I don't want to have a double uh, echoing of my voice on Xplay Gamecaster. So, um, this is the audio tool. This is for in-game audio and also for music that you are playing. I usually keep mine down to one um, because if I put it any higher then you guys won't be able to hear me as well when I'm uh, talking. And sometimes I do talk low which I understand and that's why I try to keep it as low as possible on the uh, standings. And also you can show your webcam if you do have a webcam of your own. You can just hook it up, click on that and then uh, it's almost like the watermark where you can just move it around and position it wherever you want. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is just a quick little tidbit of what you do when you go to stream. So I'm going to click on stream um, and this is going to be a quick little thing to show you if it loads up. So it says preparing broadcast and here you go. So here's a, a last event that I had yesterday you can have your description, everything that I have in here already pre-made, which is what you can do on YouTube itself. Um, I usually have these three things checked, and then also here is a title that you can change. So if your event that you have already set up for City Skylines, more expansions and everything, um, you can actually change the title anyways um, to anything. So I'm just going to call it test. Um, test for exploit. Cool. We'll do that. Um, and then once you click on start broadcast, then it will send a notification to all your subscribers um, that you're going live. Now the one thing that I highly recommend, um, so let's just go back to this point. Um, sometimes it does not shoot a notification to your subscribers because you may have already had it pre-made, your title and your description but sometimes it doesn't do that because you didn't edit it and it was already pre-made so what I would recommend is when you see this basically just click on the title click on it backspace and then add the same letter again and then start your broadcast um, that way it gets a notification out to your subscribers so once I click on test for XSplit I will be getting a notification here in just a second. I'll have my cell phone right next to me. That way you guys can hear it once it goes off. I'm going to click on start broadcast and we're going to wait till it actually gives us a notification. Because it says testing bandwidth, it's going to go to live streaming and then it's going to go to run and then it'll start the broadcast. waiting <laughs> still waiting still waiting <laughs> oh, come on you can do it Like I said, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, yeah, we're we're not getting the notification. It, it might come through. Uh, it might just because it's right next to the computer or something. I don't know. But a lot of the times, I do get the notification that I am live. Um, that way, I know if it's working or not. But there we go. There's class with JJ. You guys can see somebody chatting right now. Clash with JJ, I am just doing a little test, so you will be in the recording that will be uploaded here in a second. Um, what's going on, Shadow? How's it going? Um, and Shadow, to answer your question, I will be uh, testing your skins out later on, um, but just not right now. This is just a recording for you guys on how to live stream with XSplit Gamecaster. So you guys will be in the video. <laughs> you guys will definitely like that. Um, also, uh, do, 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 do. I think I went through everything. Um, yeah, everything is good. So then, once we're done, once you're done streaming, you just press uh, Control Tab yet again, and then it will press on Stop Streaming, 
and then once you're done uh, streaming um, it will automatically uh, register your gameplay and then it will upload for you unless you have your videos as unlisted when they come out uh, also there's another thing uh, that I didn't go over and I think I just stuttered on the word other but if you click on record you can do a uh, I think it's a shortcut which is F2 so if you just want to record and you don't want to click on the word record um, you can click on F2 and it will already uh, begin the recording like this so I'm recording 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 and then you click on F3 to stop your or pause your recording so now the uh, recording is paused and then if you want to unpause it you press F3 again and if you want to stop it you press F2 and then that stops it and you're all good to go now sometimes it does interfere with games especially like GTA 5 where um, F3 is your trainer um, menu and everything else so if you were to press F3 and you want to change your vehicle it will pause the gameplay um, so that's a kind of downside to it but um, you just got to work around it and what games you play, what games you want to record, and stuff like that. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, don't forget to drop a like. Share it with other people. That way they can know if, if they want to really live stream. This is a way to do it. And thank you to Shadow and Clash with JJ for uh, joining on really quickly when I started the live stream. Um, shout out to them. And my name is Galaman20. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Now I gotta get out of this and then I gotta go back to broadcaster and then stop the recording.